events, and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. In the We're on the courtyard year. of the state capitol here in Tallahassee, of course. It's Children's Week. We're discussing all sorts of different children's issues. And our guest this hour up here on the podium is Rich Robletto. He's with the Florida Healthy Kids Corporation. And your job is to make kids, make sure kids get insurance, right? That is my job. And, and uh, how are you doing on that? We're doing, re <laughs> we're doing real well at it. All right, uh, Kids Care is the big program here in the state of Florida. Yes. And I know there were some concerns a couple of years ago concerning the complexity yes. uh, of the form online to fill out, but uh, you seem to have got through that. We, we have. We, had, we changed to a new operating system, and like any time you change systems, you run into some bumps in the road and some problems, and, and we worked our way through it. But the reason for going to that new system was that we wanted to have make it easier for families in the long run. And that's where we are now and enrollment is showing that. We've made it very easy for families to enroll in the system, to stay enrolled in the system. That was our objective and it's working very well. Overall kid care growth is probably a little more than 200,000 in the last year, 400,000 over the last couple of years. And how many kids are still well. uninsured in the state of Florida? Well, let's talk about the number that are insured. There's about 1.8 million kids who are in the kid care program. And wow. of course, there are a lot of kids that are on their families' policies. We think somewhere around 12% of the children in total, though, are uninsured. But somewhere that's between a huge... 550 to 800,000 children are without insurance. That's a huge improvement in the past. It is a huge improvement, and we're not going to rest until we get the message out to all of them. It's a great program. It's affordable for families. As I said, we've done everything we can to make it easy for the families to enroll, to stay enrolled. So. We're not resting easy. We want all those kids to be insured. Let us know uh, exactly what it takes to get involved in the kids care program. What criteria does a family have to uh, have before well, you they know, actually I, can engage there? I think when we spoke before, I talked to you about a bill that was in the legislation last year. It did pass last year. And so kid care is basically available to almost every kid in the state. Everybody. For subsidy. Um, you, you can get subsidized coverage if your family income is less than 200% of the poverty level. It varies by size, etc. But say for a family of four, it's about $44,000. So if you're a family of four and you're making that kind of money, you can get subsidized coverage where you're either going to pay $15 or $20 for your family, or most families pay absolutely nothing through the Medicaid program. But if you're above that, Kid Care is available to you, and it's still a very affordable program. It's guaranteed issue coverage, um, and the legislature took the lid off and wanted to make sure that we were available to all children in the state of Florida, and so that's where we are now. Let me tell me exactly um, how the national health care program just passed by Congress is going to impact the kids care program and what we're doing on a statewide basis. Well, what we do now is that we provide subsidized insurance for people up to a certain level of the poverty level, but we only cover children. The national legislation, as it has passed, will do two things. One, it will provide subsidy for the entire family. So instead of just having the children's program, now the whole family can enroll in the new program. And they're expanding the uh, subsidies all the way up to 400% of the federal poverty level. Now the subsidy will go down as income goes up, but overall the new legislation will do what kid care does now, but do it for the entire family. And how can someone sign up for kids care? For kid care, you can go online to um, floridakidcare.org. We have an online application. It takes a very short amount of time to fill it out. Um, and we'll contact you as soon as we have it, and we'll find the right program for you. We'll let you know what you're eligible for. And uh, with the new system, as I said, we've made it simple, and we're, we're real quick in turning those applications around. And you're conducting around. outreach right now to reach those families you haven't hit yet. We are always conducting outreach. You know, if you're giving away insurance or charging 15 or $20 for a family, you'd expect kids to be lined up at your door. <laughs> they just have to know we're there, and so we're always All doing right. outreach. Anything Thanks you can do. Thanks very much. Ridge Robletto from Florida Healthy Kids Corporation, our guest this hour on Comcast Newsmakers as we're coming to you from Tallahassee. Thanks for joining us.